All right, here we are with reinforcer assessment, which is like a preference assessment, only actually useful. And what I mean by that, don't get me wrong, there's, there's a place for a preference assessment. Go see that video. A reinforcement assessment is the next level. So cool, you really like those items, that's awesome. Does it actually affect your behavior? Will it actually increase um, the behavior when it's contingent? So for instance, someone says through a preference assessment that they like chocolate, we make it contingent a few times on a said behavior, say giving me a high five. I give them a high five and I give them chocolate. And every time I try to go to a high five, do they continue to try to give me a high five? If not, it probably wasn't a reinforcer. And we're going to write down how many trials there were on, um, oh damn, how many trials we tried to give them chocolate on the high five. And if we offered a different item from the chocolate, and it increased faster or they're more frequent to get us to a high five, that's more reinforcing than the chocolate. 